Welcome to the Daily Debrief, an inside look at one of today's top stories. I'm Jason Denant, here with 13 Action News reporter Bree Guy. Bree, your story today was in regards to the drought and how much water it'll actually take to help us get out of this drought. Can you kind of recap your story for us today? Yeah, so that answer, a lot of people, especially after we have been experiencing some monsoon action here over these last few weeks, it's not a simplistic answer in terms of just like we need more rain. Most of our water supply comes from snow melt in the snow packs. And so, yes, the rain is beneficial, but right now it is mostly going towards replenishing that soil moisture and not necessarily going into our res reservoirs for our water supply. Now, when you say snowpack, what mountain ranges actually go into Lake Mead? And is there anything that says in the future in the forecast coming up for this winter that those mountain ranges will get more and that Lake Mead will benefit from that? Yeah, so the Colorado and Utah mountains are the snowpacks that flow into Lake Mead. And it is too early to forecast for the 2021-2022 winter in terms of what we are expecting to see. Overall though, because we have seen a substantial decrease in that snow that has fallen up there and in those snow packs, that is partially due to local and global rising temperatures as we have just, um, and also just with like those temperatures continuing to rise, then that snow isn't necessarily sticking. So we don't really have a lot of snow and a lot of snow runoff or snow melt to kind of replenish Lake Mead, uh, which is why they are calling, that's why it's been a decades long drought. <laughs> now, it's been interesting. I've lived in Las Vegas for many years. And in the past few years, it seems like summers are getting hotter, but then we've also seen more um, days where we've had snow actually here in the valley or up at Mount Charleston. Is any of that snow that's been falling helping with this drought at all in any way? Yeah, so I guess like this is also can relate to your last question on weather versus climate. So climate is what we expect like seasonal changes over a 30 year climatological period. Um, weather is just what happens day to day. And so the snow that we have necessarily been seeing like this past winter and the, I believe winter before that, I was not here in Las Vegas, um, is more correlated with weather. It's not necessarily a, climatological impact and there of course any rain or any precipitation has benefited from snow the rain and anything where we'll take anything we'll take any water um but it just hasn't really helped in making a big dent in that because again we really 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 need that snow from the Colorado and Utah mountains, just for that gradual melt off that we need to kind of fill our reservoir that we depend on. Appreciate you joining us here in the Daily Debrief today. And for more on this story and all of our top stories, visit ktnv.com. And after the break, stay tuned for more KTNV streaming Las Vegas news on your time.